uh, we have a new new guest today. Uh, it's a a friend. We we meet two years. I would like to introduce my close friend Karen. Thank you for joining us of this podcast. Oh no problem. Thank you for having me. So I, I, I wanted I wanted to start out of you to view yourself a little bit. Okay, so I'm Karen. Uh, as Julian said, we've known each other for about two years. We met in a photography class. So yeah, yeah. So that's me. <laughs> tell me about uh, to, you can tell me about a little bit about your life. Okay, so about my life. So I live on my own. I, I've lived on my own for about six years. Uh, I, I currently live in an apartment with a roommate, but uh, it's, it's actually very exciting because um, soon, like in December, uh, I'm going to be moving into a house. Me and my sister and my brother-in-law, we bought a house together. So I'm very excited about that. And then I'm going to have my own space in the basement. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that. Uh, that'll be great. Uh, for my job, I help, I help, I work in the school board and I help people with disabilities, which I love doing. And that's my passion. So, yeah. And I like to see them succeed. Tell me about your work. Right. Uh, so, as I just mentioned, I, I work in the school board. And I help out the teacher to deliver the curriculum. And I primarily help uh, people with special needs uh, because I graduated with my DSW program from the DSW program from Centennial. But yeah, so I love what I do. And it, it's, uh, it's great to see when a kid has a challenge, like for instance, reading and think, Oh God, I'm never going to get this. I'm never going to understand what to do. And then eventually you encourage them and you say, yes, you can. What do you mean you'll never do it? And then the, every single day they learn a new word. And then eventually they can read a picture book to you. So yeah, that that's that's great. I don't, I don't remember we see in the news, Karen. Yeah. Of the teachers coming in a green park. And yeah. talking about that, uh, what 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 are the things uh, you see a lot mm -hmm. of things? Right. So uh, yeah, currently I'm on I'm on strike uh, because I even though I love what I do, sometimes I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Uh, it's because I'm really busy. Well, there's not a lot of funding in schools. Okay. So like in my school, for instance, there's about over 400 kids and there's only one of me and I'm only 0.5, which means I'm only there in the mornings. So in the afternoons, if a teacher has a problem with a student, uh, no, I'm not there to help. Uh, and just to... um. Yeah, so that's part of the reason why we're going on strike. We're asking for a pay raise. We're asking for uh, better job security. We're asking for more people to be hired because sometimes um, when a kid's really upset, um, they might hit you or kick you or... Oh, body. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's hard... And, and sometimes you get hurt. So in, in, a, in a place where a student is really um, upset, it's important to have other people around that can just calm them down so nobody gets hurt. Uh, and to go into, I think I mentioned before what I, I graduated from the DSW program. DSW is Developmental Service Worker. So that means I am able to help... Um, people with special needs and a variety of uh, uh, avenues, places. Like I could work in a group home, I could work in a shelter workshop, I could do respite, I could work like a worker, like, uh, but I've chosen to work in a school. Yeah. 
Wow, you got many things in your job. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm very impressed you got these little kids. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. I love kids. Kids are great. Okay, Miguel, I'm um, Matthew. It's very young age. He has four. Right. And uh, it's so funny. Uh, he always should be around. We have uh, many friends there right. in California. I remember my sister told me uh, he always running in the parking. Uh -huh. And uh, the teacher said, stop, stop, stop. His name is Daniel. Yeah. He's uh, very funny person. He's very running, passing around sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But it's funny, by the way. Yeah. Uh, tell, me, uh, tell me about, tell me how make your friends. Tell me how I make my friends. I make friends in a variety of uh, places. I make friends through horseback riding or skiing. Uh, as, I, as I said in the promo, I was actually on a conference uh, for my disability. I was on the adult panel yesterday, and, I, uh, and there was other adults who also had my disability. I have Kabuki syndrome, which is a rare genetic uh, disability. So it's, there's, I, I describe it as like, so uh, chromosome usually goes like bloop, 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 or something like that. But mine goes bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, which made me to have Kabuki syndrome because of the bleep, bleep on one of my chromosomes. Wow. So, uh, so yeah, and it affects everyone differently. I mean, some kids uh, have heart problems. Some kids have feeding tubes. Some kids have uh, need to have multiple surgeries. Actually, some kids pass away from this disability, and wow. that makes me really sad uh, because I feel like we're connected in a community, but it also makes me feel happy and grateful because um, I don't have it that bad, and I have wonderful doctors who have helped me when I've had problems. I remember for uh, this pandemic, what I learned for 19 months is right. uh, I was stuck with my mom, along with my mom. I remember I always, always take in the night, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about what happened, what happened in me in my future. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's for me, it's value, that's tiny. We got so many people that you say, but you got to make sure it's more safety. safety and mm -hmm. follow you all the time. Mm -hmm. They always help you every single day. That's interesting. So yeah, I I made friends through that because we have that in common. Um, yeah, now that I'm going to be living on my own, well, technically, my, my sister's going to be right upstairs, but I'm going to have my, more of my own space. I'm in the mindset of, oh, I need to go out and... and make new friends. I need to make sure that I'm doing stuff because I can't be isolated in my space in the basement the whole entire time. So I I think in the few in the next like as I move out, uh I'm gonna make more of an effort to hang out with old friends, make new friends, and challenge myself to go outside the box. I I know remember you told me before uh, you're cooking mm -hmm. for your friends. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, tell me about, a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, I like cooking and I feel like food is very important because everyone needs to eat and it brings people together. Uh, actually, on, on Sundays, usually, uh, in, in my apartment that I'm usually, that I'm in currently, me and my roommate cook together and, and we eat together on Sundays. So I, I find that kind of like brings us together and we work together on a project and then we get to enjoy the project. So that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, so we just decide on what we want to eat. Sometimes it's Thai food, sometimes it's Indian food, sometimes it's Mexican food, sometimes it's Chinese or Italian and whatever we're craving and then we cook. I remember this, uh, this pandemic, uh, what I learned is I was cooking on my own. 
Yeah. I remember we cooking pizza, risotto. Uh, risotto? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's so tasty. Uh, yeah. I always um, barbecue. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it is the funny day I learned of the Hispanic. But yeah. I'm going to continue to win it because I love it, you. Yeah. But my problem is my mother. Because uh, every time I sit down, then you tell me the, the receipt. You always sit down and it teach me how you do that thing. Yeah. And I feel it's very. You do not call me out, but uh, you always sit down, that's it, talking, and then back to me, and then I have to cook it on my own. Yeah. <laughs> it's, very, it's very funny when my mom do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is funny. Cooking is important, though. I, uh, I, uh, I, feel, yeah. I, I do some cooking with my, uh, support worker as well. What is, I think we tried to make pretzels. Those didn't turn out very well. Uh, because you have to put it in the baking soda and the water, and then it didn't turn out very well. But, uh, we were also doing that on Zoom, so maybe I'd ask her in person if we can do it in person, because then I would have good pretzels to give to people. I remember I did the panic. We have a, a friend with my right. with my friend Anna. Yeah. It is in your cooking. Yeah. A proof where pe people with personal needs. Yeah. I remember what yeah. the things we find a little bit challenge on me because sometimes people say, oh, I want to take a photo. Hey, I'm going to be in the news. I, 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 I want to be... In, in, in a newspaper. They said, no, man, no. I never do it like that. And I said, mm, parents, come on. This is the class cooking, no, no for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes, sometimes other people get in the, mm, well, not get in the way, but just say, hey, be careful with the knife. Don't cut your hand. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. 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 Um, my last question for you, Karen. Yeah. You can tell me about what you do and your free time. Uh, what do I like to do in my free time? Well, I like to do puzzles when I'm at home because I feel like that challenges my brain. And if I don't like do that, usually I just sit on my bed and watch YouTube or Netflix. But it's not good to watch Netflix and YouTube all the time. Uh, so doing puzzles when I'm at home, it, it's good. Um, and I like to do that. I, I like to go sailing, sailing's special. Uh, I like to do that. I mean, I go sailing with an organization, uh, for people with disabilities. And it's adaptive sailing, so I have a volunteer at the back, uh, of the sailboat. But I, I'm at the front, and there's ropes, and we're controlling the sails. But there are actually people that are on wheelchairs that also go sailing, and people with um, communication device or this or that who also go sailing as well. So I like that it's all inclusive. Uh, it's an inclusive like community, and that everybody can be involved. It doesn't matter what challenge you have. You can you can come and do this activity. That's what's important to me. I also enjoy horseback riding. I do that, um, and I also enjoy skiing. Skiing's really uh, all these are run by uh, for people with disabilities. So again, it's inclusive, and everybody can come. So yeah. That's, that's what I enjoy doing in my free time. I also enjoy hiking, hanging out with my family. Yeah, but pretty much that's it. What your your advice when you the people with special needs? What the last what you want to say something? Eh. Right. Um. That I know that sometimes it's challenging because it might take you a harder time to do something, but if you find something that you're really passionate about and you keep working on it and you break it into small steps, eventually it, the, the small steps will become bigger and eventually you'll achieve your goal. 
So that's that's my advice. Thank, thank you, Karen. Today, Terry Sally, you here today, uh, my side. Uh, we have a uh, amazing story. Uh, be true so far, and very exciting to continue working, inspires and others. Mm -hmm. I, I'm very lucky. Uh, you teach little kids, mm -hmm. continue to work in and uh, more access your community. And uh, mm -hmm. thank you to having you today. Follow me on this, and uh, very exciting. You're here today, so thank you, Karen. Thank you for having me. I had a great time.